What is understood does not need to be explained. I have C.J. Stroud sitting to my left right now. Offensive Rookie of the Year. How you feeling, man? I'm blessed, bro. Blessed to be here, man. Appreciate you having me. Yes, sir. Real quick, before we even get to football talk, next week, we're going to be in Indianapolis getting buckets. <laughs> Talk, I mean, the highlights have been going around. Talk to us a little bit about your basketball game, man. Yeah, I feel like I'm a shooter, you know. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm best at. I can take it off the dribble, get to the rack. But, you know, I'm going to be careful. I'm not going to be out there doing too yeah, much, you, you know. Too much, a, baby. Houston needs you. You got to be right. good. And I got Mike hating on me, so he, he didn't want me to score no points. He's just a hater, you know. So I'm going to try to do my thing, though. Yeah. Let's talk about this season, man. Rookie year. Did you expect to have this much early success going into the Texans in which the last couple of years haven't been so good for them? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that I would expect what happened this year, but yeah. I did not expect it, you know. Like, I just came with the mindset, like, I'm going to work as hard and do whatever I got to do to, you know, win games, you know. Uh, whatever that took, I was going to I was gonna have to, you know, will, will our way to win. And, right. you know, I also had a lot of great teammates and coaches that helped me along the way. So, right. you know, um, I wouldn't say that I wasn't expecting it, but it's been a blessing to have that type of success. Yeah. And now I want to do more, you know. For sure. So what's your biggest takeaway after year one, dog? You just came from Ohio yeah. State, big time program. You go into the league, ball out, take it to the playoffs. Feels just like college again. But what's the biggest takeaway? Biggest takeaway, you know, is players to make plays. You know, yeah. like that's my job is to make plays and win games. And, you know, even sometimes the other team makes plays and you can't do nothing about it. It's yeah. just those guys are good just like us. They get paid right. like us. But, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, my job to you know, try to make that not happen. Yeah. And, you know, it's been exciting to learn a lot. My first year now, you know, a lot of learning experiences. So yeah. get to just double down on that. Yep. Going into season two, what are some things in your game that you feel like, I know we ain't really in the film room yet. We just had a break. You yeah, just yeah. came off the season. But what are some of the things that you think you need to improve on to get better, to take it even to a next level next year? Yeah, you know, it's a multitude of things. You know, we always do like self-scout, you know, and for me, um, really just the operational stuff sometimes, just getting in and out the huddle faster, yeah. you know, getting the play call and, 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 and relaying it the right way. And, yep. you know, that's different from college where you're getting signals and stuff, you know. Right. So um, that's something that I definitely can improve on, you know, especially in the playoffs where it's loud. It's an away game. And hopefully we don't got to do that. We just get all home yeah, game. Yeah, all home game. Uh, you know, just win, win our uh, AFC, you know, win the conference. But, you know, uh, if that's not the case, then, you know, we got to lock in to be able to execute at a high level in those uh, harsh environments. Yep. Talk to me a little bit about your relationship with head coach Domingo Ryans, man. Like, I, I grew up watching him play for the Texans. And then seeing him coach, playing against him, defenses that he coached, and now seeing him with you. Talk to talk to us a little bit about your relationship. Yeah, it's a great relationship, bro. Uh, it's somebody that I you know I can go up to his office and talk to him about anything. Yep. He'll text and call me to, you know, make sure that I'm straight, you know, especially, like, during my concussion. He stayed like in contact with me, which I appreciate it. Yeah. You know, and he's a player's coach. You know, he's been, like you said, he's been in our shoes. He understands what it is, right. uh, the grind that it takes to win games, you know, and he holds that standard and he holds a high, you know, if you don't fake that standard, you stick out like a sore thumb. And, right. you know, that's the type of culture that we wanted. So it's been amazing to work with, 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 with D'Amico, man. He's been a great coach, a great, you know, a great person. You know, I'm just super excited to get another year with him. All right. So first year, first Pro Bowl, looked like you were having a lot of fun yeah. last week. What was like, Let's say this. Who was the person that you kind of gravitated towards last week? Because you know how it is. Yeah. Play A, you going right, up, right, right. you go to these camps. There's always, like, a guy that you're right, like, man, right. like, I enjoy hanging out with him. Yeah. Who was that guy for you last week? Um, I really got close to Stephon Diggs. Yeah, okay. Me and Steph got really close. Okay. Um, we talked a whole bunch. And Derrick Henry as well. Okay. Just, uh, you know, two stand-up dudes. Like, I got a lot of respect for them, of course. Been watching them for a while now. And, yeah. you know, to see mutual respect, you know, um, my first year, man, that's it's, like, super cool to me. It's actually, like... I'm in awe, you know, of yeah. all the guys who have respect for me, uh, you know, coming out of the season. So um, those are the two guys that I definitely got to talk to a bunch and yeah. got close with and, you know, had this open conversation and, you know, got to know each other a lot. Yeah, for sure. All right, so we're in Vegas. Obviously, it's a Super Bowl game. We got Patrick Mahomes. We got Brock Purdy. What do you think Brock Purdy needs to do for them to take the Chiefs? He got to be himself. You know, yeah. I think Purdy is – Somebody who's, who's been a great quarterback in this league, definitely top 10 quarterback. And I think people got to start putting more respect on his name. You know, yeah. like, uh, there's nothing easy about being an NFL quarterback. Don't get me wrong, he has a great team. But, like, at the same time, you're the quarterback. You got to make plays. You got to get guys in and out the huddle. You got to – there's a lot of things that have to go right 
just for the quarterback to make everybody around them do their job. And, right. uh, you know, I have a lot of respect for him. And, right. uh, you know, it's not going to be easy because Mahomes is a dog as well. And yeah. somebody oh, I think is playing at his highest level right now. And right. a lot of respect for that dude as well. So, and then you got two great defenses. So, you know, it's going to be a great game in my opinion. Who do you think wins the game, CJ? I can't bet, bet against Mahomes, man, you know. Okay. So I, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if it's a long four-quarter game. Yep. Talk to me about your partnership with C4, dog. Yeah, so I've been working with C4 for a minute now, all the way okay. since college. And, you know, it's been amazing to work with them. A great product uh, really is what helps me, you know, sometimes on them long days. At day 16, 17 of training camp, you know how it is. Yeah. Need that extra burst of energy in that morning and 5 a.m. Uh, get up, you know, lifting. Yeah. Uh, got practice, got meetings, so, you know, drink some energy drink or some uh, pre-workout, you know, and it, it helps me out a lot, you know. So it's NSF certified, so the league approves of it, yep, yep. So which is really important. And, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's an amazing product. And, uh, my favorite is Starburst, so <laughs> go out there and get it. Ladies and gentlemen, C.J. Stroud, catch him dropping buckets, fadeaways on Michael Parsons next weekend <laughs> at the All-Star Game, baby. Appreciate your time. Yeah, appreciate baby. you, bro. Yes, sir. Much love, bro.